five hangers in front, but I never ever had to take one out. Most of where I am going to take you, the water is no more than three to about five feet deep. Now I know we have a few smaller passengers, but for you grown up, if I can, when we're going down the river, I get an iceberg. The boat starts to sink. And you get all panicky. Remember one really simple and very, very important thing. Stand up and walk out. I promise you can do it. Now you're going to look at me and go, wait a minute, Rusty. Hold the phone. There's not a lot of railing. Do folks really fall in? Believe it or not, we average three people a day to fall in. Most of the time, though, it's late at night. We're the line without memory system. And we've just gotten done with spring break. We are quite a few buttons again. And you want to hear the really, really crazy part? Right here is where more people fall in the river than any place else on the entire river walk. And no, we're really not sure why. Yesterday, about 1.30, I was doing a tour. Over here on the left, there was a very pretty, very young lady walking and texting at the same time. <laughs> she did not look up. She also did not stop walking. And in about 20 seconds, we drive right over her cell phone. Now, why people fall in here, we have not been able to figure out. But if you look, it's not like you can't figure out where the concrete is and the water begins. But this is where people fall in. That's right here at River Center Mall. We have 10 major malls in our city. It's not the biggest one, but I think it's one of the prettiest, if not the best mall. Right at 1 million square feet of shopping. Over 135 different stores. Wonderful restaurants, even a comedy club up on the third floor. Now, if you were not aware of it, on Sundays, the mall is the only day it closes a little bit early. It'll shut down right at 6 o'clock. So if you still have some souvenir shopping you need to do, or maybe you got worth of your holiday money left over, and you want to do a little bit of shopping for yourself, well, you might think about wherever you mall. Most people can find something for a family member of family. Now, this section, on the river we're on, we will be on it for a little bit. It is called man-made. It does have a concrete bottom. All this around you was cut out in the mid-1960s. In 1968, we had what was called the Hemisphere. It's like a version of the World's Fair. And we were 250 years old. The combination of the in, we had about 7 million visitors here. Our city planners realized traffic might turn into a doctor soon at night time. Go and check it out. That way you can pick and choose what you'd like to come back to. Every 
remember, we party hard in that house, remember? And it is really, really hard. Now, while you are out and about, you may have noticed we have a few nice to do. Most of the next one will they are Mallard, Peel, and the Myers Market. They are the same as And now, to use the trivia for you, Mallard, they may be for life. We may acquire the Myers Market. And now we're going to leave this man being special. The bone is breaking off, running out of the actual, the factual, the man is for your room. Now the river out here is a fun and rock fun. It's a general change of time for you. Still, we need to buy PC. This is the way the river flowed 300 years ago, 100 years ago, as well as last week. On the right, that's another place coming up our turbo. We now have four locations. And on the left, we're over right by the tall Hilton Palacio del Rio. In English, it means the tall Hilton Palacio del Rio. Now, this is a much more designed and built hotel. If you look up from the fourth floor, you'll see every other floor is cultivated or staggered. Kind of sort of like when a small child puts Lego blocks together. Every one of those units remain ready on site. Brian is lifted up, then concrete in his place. Every unit above your head, every one of them, they are all soundproof, they are all fireproof, and after our last Christmas party, we also found out they are all bombproof and watertight. So we're still not on the bug mode. So over here on the right, in the past yard bridge, a lot of folks think that is our main water supply right now. And not in at all. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the largest margarita mixer in the entire country. <laughs> the rest of Little Village is over here on the left, uh, about 1850 years ago. That's when the Germans moved here and built houses. Today, all of those houses are ours and shops, and there's some nice restaurants up there. Now, this area all through here, a little over 100 years ago, is called Old Mill Crossing. There actually was a great mill here, and during the list of June, July, and August, it's not uncommon then for our river to dry up. So, before all the bridges were established, this was one of the better places to cross from one side of the river to the other. Now, if you look up above your head, behind the trees, you're going to see some funny looking birds up there. They are yellow, brown, nine carrots. The older they get, the more yellow and blue they'll cross them yet. But down here, many of us, we call them Texas shark shoes. They've been known to bless a boat. Their blessing is like three one dollar bills side by side. My hat is not a fashion accessory. Yes, I have been blessed many, many times, and no ma'am, it does not smell like you. <laughs> right here, we're going across the street. You mean damn or barricade in Spanish? This is the one bridge every member of captain who was six months old. Three years ago, we had a captain who was six months old. And yes, in case you were concerned, I knew just this. Now, the island over here on the right where these folks are at, that is Marion's Island. It averages one Marion serenade. Yesterday, I saw three weddings, and believe it or not, on Valentine's Day, there were 35 weddings on that island. It was very busy. Now, on June 1st of last year, I. Excuse me. I was given a very, very special privilege. I brought a couple of that island to renew their wedding vows. 
We're going to find a tree. It's going to be right up above your head. Now there are attraction rails that guide this one straight down. When you close them, just not well, what right nice now. Oh yeah, by the way, the flat light right over here on the left, that is probably old poison ivy. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's really poison oak. Also on the left, this is a Drury Inn. Now it is the number one Drury in the entire chain. Per square foot, they do better than number two, three or four combined. We're honored to have in our city and in our beautiful city. Back on the right, we go by the Esquire Tavern. Now they are the oldest tavern on the river walk. They opened up one minute right after Prohibition ended. All they did was take down the haircut sign. They have the longest bar in all of Texas. It's 110 feet long, was highlighted on a Jay-Z top album in the 1970s. It's the third longest bar in all of the USA. Also here on the right, this is the fourth place living of our turbo. We do have multiple locations. This one is right here at the Aztec Theater. We went to eight of them. They were silent movie theaters. This is the only one that survived, and it has been restored. They do different shows upstairs, below, the very nice dining room. The House of Blues is moving in here. Now in front of us is another arch ritual pass under. If any of you remember seeing the movie Selena, right on top of that bridge, that's right where Jayla was at, where the film was being filmed right now here on the river road. The name of the boat you're on today is Miss Louisa, and this boat was used by the film crew during the filming of the movie. Back on the right, that base building, the one with the metal piece. Today, that is the Mokaro Hotel and Spa. That's that location where they used to make saddles and harnesses, punch and video, as well as Teddy Roosevelt and all of his rough riders. They were out on that location. On the left, it's Flamencio, and on the hotel today, in the 1850s. That was the original site for St. Mary's Walter Boy. Later, the building was part of St. Mary's Law Building. Now, I don't see the schoolhouse or the saddle shop anymore. As I said, we refurbished, refurbished, even refurbished them. But for the most part, we do not appear again. Now, just past this bridge is an optical illusion. If you will turn to my left and look up, You'll see what I'm talking about. They get to the left and look out. When people are down here on the boat, they have a square they're staring. Right? And a giant three standing hole. Well, that is the economy. Now I hope none of you celebrities have to go there. But if you do, you'll find it good. a full service hospital. You can get everything from bed days. Doesn't work? or even make your shirt crazy. Carol Burnett, Oliver North, and Michael Harvey. They were all born right inside that hospital. Now in front of us, that is the higher Regency Hotel. Compared to many of them down here, it's a short one. They did that intentionally. The building right on the other side of it, it is the Alamo. Now, the Alamo is a war memorial. And there's a rule that you never, ever cast a shadow on a war memorial in the sunset. Or they stop building this one right at that height. That way, they will never, ever cast that shadow. Now, if you're not from San Antonio, you might not have been aware of it, but we are today the seventh largest city in the nation. We are right at the two million mark when it comes to population. We're considered to be a major metropolitan area. And now we are entering River Square. And if any celebrities get hungry, and you're thinking you might like to try something Italian, Mexican, some wonderful Texas barbecue. Maybe you want to come back here, get a nice, delicious ice cream cone for everybody to handle. Possibly come back, start down the 